Ryan, smoking Nemesis. What a run here for Diotro. They're on fire. Oh, great. I'd pay my admission fee just to see this. But the ref bot comes in to extinguish the flames. And the boys from Dublin go out at this early stage. Is stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. Roadblock and Nemesis not only need to avoid each other, but our own house robots in their patrol areas go in there and you're in trouble. The boys from Dublin will use the spikes and the hydraulic prong. And Roadblock will use that saw. Activated by Hender Blewett. And Roadblock could choke on a furball. Nemesis being ripped to shreds at this moment in time. They need to get away from that saw. Oh, that could be a mistake by Roadblock. It's gone in with Matilda and the spikes, and it's impaled on the spikes. Matilda's saw and that vicious tail. This could be a tail of two saws. Roadblock away. Now attacks Nemesis again, gets underneath. The Nemesis boys all want to go into space, and they're in the air. They're in the air, and they're on fire. Get the fire brigade! Aye, aye, you're in trouble! Nemesis is on fire! It could all be over for Nemesis shortly now! Well, as you can see, the soft furnishings are on fire. Fire extinguishers have been brought out, so pretty obviously, Roadblock is the winner! Two, one, activate. The gauntlet course seems deadlier and deadlier, and Nemesis smiles through it all and immediately veers towards the ram rig here, squeezing in on the left hand side towards the circular saws to rip up and churn that bright scarlet fur. And waiting there again for them, and he loves them, his Sergeant Bash. He loves a flick, a lick, a flame to torch and burn and sizzle fur. And Nemesis stuck. Go on, boys, on fire again! Smoking! Nemesis! Burning! On fire! Waiting for them is Killalot too! Oh my goodness me! Hopes up in flames! Killalot and Dead Metal squeezing in! Burning, boggling Nemesis eyes! But I think they've just done enough. Well, guys! You went out in a ball of flames in the last war. I, I, I would have thought you'd learn. Well, if you're going to cover a robot for you, you, you might as well take the fire, you know? I thought you were, you were going to use some flame-proof material or something. Not at all. Burn it, that's what I say. Burn it all to hell. <laughs> well, you made it to the end zone. We'll see you in the next round. <laughs> they can put yourself out there. <laughs> oh, with patched up nemesis. Three, two, one. Nemesis, what a pathetic and sorry sight. What well, great competitors. Nudging, nosing, Nemesis. The spikes, the prongs, the lobster claws, all coming into effect here, though. The saw blade at the back of the robot. Ash tries a little lick of flame, but too far away, says Nemesis. Peter Redmond, John Kinnan, Joe Gavin and William Murphy, the teammates, spinning. Not creating that much destruction by spinning. But look at the barrels down! In come the St. Box ambulance men. Nemesis! Go to the platform! Hold on, lads. How do you feel about it? Oh, well, we gave it our best shot. We weren't really designed well for pushing over barrels, but. <laughs> well, you seemed to take a good few of them out, though, didn't you? Well, we pushed a few of them out of the ring, but we didn't knock them over. And you're on fire again now? Still on fire. Still on fire. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Nemesis, give them a round of applause. Well done. Broiled and toasted. John Willoughby at the controls. Activate. An Arthurian legend, the Steel Avenger, perhaps, with a feather duster on the back. And Diotor, a great <laughs> roar goes up every time they do anything. A little bit of fur flies off. Oh, the Steel Avenger slamming into dead metal, working its way away from danger, but dead metal has a long memory. Diotor nearly driving into the house robot. Oh, great slam, bam, from the... I think this time they're using the ice blade, aren't they, at the front? Yes, they are, the Steel Avenger. 
cut in to cleave Diotor's hopes. Bashing on the back of the Steel Avenger, turning to get away. Oh, and off comes something from Diotor again. There's a boggle eye. So now they just can stare blankly from the one eye. Cyclops now from the Republic of Ireland in the shape of Diotor. Son of Nemesis, the Steel Avenger bashes against the arena wall. Diotor getting in and underneath and flipping the Steel Avenger up and over, and that was their only viable tactic, and it's paid off! What a run here for Diotor! They're on fire! Oh, great! I'd pay my mission fee just to see this! Look at this! They're on fire! A flame of burning! Diotor, they've got to rebuild it <laughs> all over again. At least the, look at the flag on top. At least that's not Cease. smouldering. Diotor have got to rebuild it once again, all over again. Well, there's no doubt about that. The winner is Diotor, son of Nemesis. Now onto the flame pit. The lick of flame. The smile obliterated. The dead metal camera records it all. Once again, the splendid entertainers from Dublin's Fair City are left feeling hot under the collar and Firestorm about to take on Dead Metal. Dead Metal sparking away there. Metal being burnt. The fur flickers, but not the life force inside Diotor, I'm afraid. Kill a lot. To finish it off with a coup de grace, perhaps. In goes the lance. In underneath the lifting mechanism of Diotor, enabling Kilolot to lift it, hoist it, and push it towards, well, Bash wants some fur. That's just getting cold out there. Now is the winter of Diotor's discontent, certainly. If it is a wee bit chilly on the arena floor, the Firestorm boys look on. And I think we're about to see the mighty arena flipper. Diotor righted. It's not all right. It's all gone wrong for the boys Cease. of Dublin. What a story, but Firestorm, worthy winners. No doubt about that one. Firestorm, hot stuff, through to our series semi-finals. Bolt from the blue with the flipping arm. Diotor with the air-powered spike. And Ming-2, two, two spikes Three, and the front ram. Two, one, activate. Interesting to see what damage there was to Diotor before we even began in the pits. Well, you can see they're not right, are they? Driven immediately back there. And Ming Tu and Bolt from the Blue almost like a pincer attack, forcing Diotor back to the arena wall and now dangerously towards the flame pit. The crowd loves Diotor and the boys from Dublin because they don't seem to be mind being charbroiled. But at the moment, is that an inflammable Diotor we're seeing out there? An indestructible Jotor, well, they'll have to write themselves very quickly, Peter Edmund and Kieran Bird. Meanwhile, the two underdogs there, Ming Tu and Bolt from the Blue Circle, dangerously avoid each other. Well, that was nothing, just a, a bit of a bruise and a bump, but Diotor is in real trouble here. Peter and Kieran need to get out from that arena wall, and they are on fire now! That's the end, surely, for Diotor. It is! Oh, what a shake! So popular. But the ref bot comes in to extinguish the flames and the boys from Dublin go out at this early stage. Diotor start the long trek home. A seed goes out. Ming-2 and a bolt from the blue go through.